After 40 years in the roofing industry, tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award winner doesn't spend a lot of time looking back. Susie Boyd of Academy Roofing much prefers to look forward to what tomorrow might bring. She says being in the roofing industry doesn't leave much time for a retrospect. She calls herself an adrenaline junkie and the roofing world seems to fit her addiction very well. Susie was born to a father who was a heavy equipment operator and a mother who was a homemaker. She was the second of 12 children, eight boys and four girls. The family owned a small five-acre farm on the outskirts of Aurora, where they raised cows and chickens and other small livestock. Her parents instilled a strong work ethic in their children and expected them to be mostly self-sufficient at a young age. When our parents got divorced, Susie really was kind of a second mom for, for a lot of us because she kind of took over that role. Our mom was so busy trying to work and provide for our family. After high school, Susie spent two years in college before meeting her soulmate, Kurt. He was a friend of her brother's who frequently had his hair cut by Susie's mom. They met at one of those haircut sessions, and as the saying goes, the rest is history. They were married in 1974 and moved to Laramie, Wyoming, where Kurt finished his education at the University of Wyoming. Their daughter Katie was born in Kurt's last year of college. The pair moved back to Colorado after Kurt's graduation and both went to work for a local roofing contractor. Susie as an administrator and Kurt first as a roofer and then as a project superintendent. During this time, another daughter Kelly was born, followed by a son, Kenneth. In 1980, their fourth child, as Susie refers to Academy Roofing, was born. Kurt came home one day and announced that he'd like to start his own roofing company. Although Susie was not entirely thrilled, she agreed to the venture. The company was housed for the first two years in the bedroom of the Boyd home, but later moved to the east side of Aurora, where it remains today. So I was five when um, Academy Roofing started. I lost my bedroom. My sister and I had to share a room um, because they turned my bedroom into the office. But when we moved, I got my own room, and I think that's also when Academy got its own room too. <laughs> the big joke was when I was in kindergarten I went to school and we were talking about careers and I had told my teacher that my parents worked in the bedroom. For my sister and I we're watching our mom who was a working mom kind of when working moms were starting to be working moms. She just did everything and she did it well. Now that I'm a mom and that I'm, I'm a working mom, I have no idea how she did the things that she did. Susie's talents lay in the administrative area of the company, while Kurt loved the logistics of managing crews and jobs. Susie prides herself on the fact that their working relationship has been fun and harmonious. The thing that's um, beautiful about Susie and Kurt is they really complement each other very well. When you combine their strengths, it's just such a a perfect harmony, if you will. It just kind of lends itself to the family atmosphere that we have here at Academy Roofing. Everything I know in human resources, she taught me because I've been a roofer and a supervisor and an estimator. She taught me that my customers are my co-workers and I have to take care of them. I have to do the best by them as you know that I can. She's a fair boss and she's a compassionate boss. We call her the ear because she's like the resident counselor here too. The biggest change she's experienced during her tenure is the evolution of technology, labor-intensive accounting tasks she's manually performed that are now done on the computer. She can't remember the last time a set of blueprints could be found in the company's office. While many around her bemoan the changes, Susie embraces them and enjoys the challenge of mastering new ways of doing things. Several years ago, a member of the National Roofing Contractors Association Executive Committee approached Susie about becoming a member of the NRCA's Board of Directors. She served on the board for three years and was also named president of the National Roofing Contractors Legal Resource Center. She also served on several committees. She has a deep appreciation for all the work the NRCA does to advance the roofing industry, and she especially enjoyed meeting contractors from across the country and learning how their companies operate. She's served on the Colorado Roofing Association Awards Committee since its inception and writes all of the scripts for the jobs of the year. Susie and Kurt were both really kind of the driving force behind our awards program and how big it's gotten over the years. So they want people to be proud of working in, in the roofing industry. She's often amazed at the jobs she must somehow bring to life for the awards video. She's now on the board of directors of the CRA. Her love of the industry and the people in it is very evident. I also really admire that she's such a tireless advocate for the industry, and she does it all with a lot of integrity and a lot of grace. 
I'm extremely proud of my mom. She had to work twice as hard to get the respect that she has earned in the industry because she's a woman. One of the things that I admire most about Susie is the path that she has paved for women in this male-dominated industry. The role model that she is to all of us women is incredibly empowering, and I think that it makes us all feel much more comfortable and confident. But Susie is most proud of her children and grandchildren. She enjoys the many events that are a part of being from a big family. She loves to travel and see new places, but in the back of her mind, there is always her fourth child who should be 38 years old now, but still feels somewhat like a rebellious teenager. When you talk to her, she still talks about looking forward to what tomorrow brings, and at some point they'll be relaxed, but not, not right now. She's not ready for it yet. To get this award, I, and my mom has achieved like lifetime achievement in like lots of things. <laughs> And honestly, I think it's so well-deserved. I can't think of anybody else who deserves it more in our industry. I think she um, has done an incredible job for, for our association, for our industry. I'm really happy that uh, they've, they've chosen her this year. You know, she'll look back at the people who have gotten it before, and it's like, wow, it's a, it's a real, uh, who's who of the Colorado roofing industry, and now she's part of, you know, part of that. It's a well-deserved award. I'm sure a part of her is not wanting the spotlight on her. I know she knows in her heart she deserves it, but she'll never come out and, you know, brag about it. <laughs> Congratulations to a very deserving Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Susie Boyd.